Hey guys, welcome to <clears throat> Differentiation Week 2 Review. Okay, so as usual folks, these are the six questions we'll be looking at today. Um, if you guys want to pause the video here and try these questions, um, see how you go and then check the answers with me. Okay, let's start with question A. Now just remember guys, I'm not going to actually simplify um, any of the answers because simplifying the answers means you know you could potentially have three or four different answers and it's kind of hard to try and figure out which one it is that you've done so I'm only going to do the first step um, and just kind of differentiate it and leave it at that alright so with the first question um, what you need to notice is that you've actually got you've actually got two functions here that is being multiplied by each other all right, so therefore you've got, actually got to use product rule for that. So in this case, I'm going to put f is equal to negative 30x, which means f dash is equal to negative 30. And then I'm going to put g equals ln of x, which means g dash is equal to uh, 1 over x. Okay, so now I need to actually uh, differentiate this which means differentiation of uh, 50x is going to be 50 and the differentiation of minus 30x ln x using the product rule I've got f dash g which is minus 30 ln of x and minus 30 uh, f g dash so it's 30 times 1 over x now this can be simplified I know I said I wouldn't simplify but um, sorry, this should be 30x. This can be simplified as 50 minus 30 ln of x minus the two x's cancel out and you're left over with 30. So y dash is equal to 20 minus 30 ln of x. That's question A. Question B. Um, obviously, I'm using the quotient rule. So f is equal to x cubed minus e to the power of 4x, which means f dash is equal to 3x squared minus e to the power of 4x multiplied by 4. I'm going to write this up a little bit easier, guys. So I'm going to write this as 3x squared minus 4e 4x. And as for g, g is equal to ln of 2 of x. And I can write this as g dash is equal to 1 over 2x multiplied by 2. And of course, this simplifies to 1 over x. So doing quotient rule, uh, I'm going to get f dash g minus f g dash. And the whole thing divided by g squared. So in this case, f dash is 3x squared minus 4e 4x minus uh, fg dash no have i forgotten g yes i have g is ln of 2 of x minus f is equal to x cubed minus e to the power of 4x multiplied by g dash which is 1 over x and the whole thing is divided by ln of 2x squared so guys, you can actually leave your answer like this. Um, there's nothing wrong about it. Um, you don't need to simplify it any further in your exams. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Now, if you are doing this, make sure that you have all the brackets in the right places as well. Okay. Question C. We have another quotient rule. So F is equal to 4E 3X, which means F dash is equal to 4E 3X multiplied by 3. So f dash is equal to 12e 3x. And as for g, g is equal to 2 root x, which means g could be written as 2x to the power of half. And g dash is, is equal to half times 2 times x to the power of negative half, which could be written as x to the power of negative half. So when we're doing y dash, y dash is equal to f dash g minus f g dash 
and the whole thing divided by g squared. So in this case, f dash is equal to 12e 3x multiplied by 2 root x minus 4e 3x multiplied by x to the power of negative half and the whole thing divided by 2 root x to the power of 2. Okay, question D. We have two functions that are multiplied by each other, so we're going to be using the product rule. However, we have to use a um, chain rule for f in this case, because f is 2x plus 1 whole squared. So f dash is going to be, you got to use chain rule, so it'll be 2 times 2x plus 1 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2. So we can say f dash is equal to 4 times 2x plus 1, or 8x plus 4. When we look at g, g is equal to e to the power of 4x. So g dash equals e to the power of 4x multiplied by 4. So this could be, of course, written as 4e4x. So remember that for product rule, we have y dash is equal to f dash g plus fg dash. So y dash in this case is going to equal 8x plus 4 multiplied by e to the power of 4x plus f is equal to 2x plus 1 squared multiplied by g dash which is 4e 4x. Okay, as you see I'm not actually um, you know factorizing this or simplifying the answers. I'm just going to leave it as it is and that's fine. Okay, question E. We have a quotient rule. So we've got f equals to ln of 4 of x. And so f dash equals 1 over 4x multiplied by 4, which means f dash is equal to 1 over x. And as for g, g is equal to e to the power of 2x squared. So g dash is equal to e to the power of 2x squared multiplied by the differentiation of the power, which in this case is 4x. So g dash could be written as 4x e to the power of 2x squared. So doing y dash of quotient rule, it is f dash of g minus f g dash divided by g squared. Now f dash is 1 over x, g is e to the power of 2x squared minus f is ln of 4x multiplied by g dash which is 4x e to the power of 2x squared and the whole thing divided by e to the power of 2x squared squared. Last question guys, we got a product rule. All right, so we've got f which equals to 1 over x and we can write this as x to the power of negative 1 which means f dash is equal to negative 1 multiplied by x to the power of negative 2 just to make things from easy for me, I'm going to write this as negative 1 over x squared. And as for g, g is equal to 3x minus 1 to the power of 3 quarters. So g dash equals 3 quarters, 3x minus 1. Now 3 quarters minus 1 is negative quarter, multiplied by the differentiation of this, which is 3. So what we have g dash as is 9 over 4. 3x minus 1 to the power of negative quarter. And when you're working with product rule, you're going to have f dash g plus fg dash. f dash is negative 1 over x squared. And I'm going to put that in a bracket multiplied by g, which is 3x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 4, plus f is equal to 1 over x. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put that in a bracket multiplied by g dash, which is 9 over 4, 3x minus 1 to the power of negative quarter. Okay, guys, and that's how you do question F. Guys, that's pretty much it for this session. Thank you for watching, uh, and as usual, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Okay, thank you.